All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot spins from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, the USA, Dollar Bill. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Ghost Dog. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your now Oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crunch is taking for life. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nice hammer fist. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, 
Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Go on, hold you down. Keep Keep 15 going. seconds remain in the round. Oh, the grounded pound is there. from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really... Great work. He won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. We want to see you work... All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Nice kick with the right hand. Another clinch position. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Single collar tie now. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now it's his mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. Looking for it. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. control now and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand up, get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than the half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. All right, so there's... So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighter lives to fight another round. It was very, very close. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. 
great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go in the fight. Nice stick with the right hand. And they separate. Weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Campbell's inches right there. Fantastic. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. He's foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. My triangle, my triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. That is tight. Side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got him. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. My triangle, my triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch it. And this might just be a matter of time. Is his opponent by way of submission. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. Dollar bill. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight.